Hi, this is Minan from the Belly Investing How To channel. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'll be sharing another item that I look at called the distribution from ventures. In some reports, you probably see that a REIT receives dividend income. What am I talking about? Let's use Santa as an example. If you have um, watched the previous videos that I have shared about analyzing REITs, I'll take it that REITs is still another business. So we have to gross revenue, less of all the charges like maintenance charges, property management, and we receive and we'll arrive at the net property income, which is also what I would term as the gross profit of running the whole REIT itself by the REIT managers. And going down to the end, we'll see that this line talks about the profitability of the REIT itself. Next thing is where it's even more important because that it affects the amount of dividends that we receive from the REITs. And this statement is section is called the statement of distribution. How, how do we know what is the amount of uh, dividends that we receive as unit holders? is determined by this amount. So for Suntech, yeah, it's able to distribute 187 million. Going to the top line, here is the profit that's attributable to us as unit holders. Linking the two state the two sections, you see there's this one two eight here also. It links here. Okay. So you continue to move down and you see this particular part called the dividend income. So when you look at your re upcoming REITs financial report, you want to check whether does your REIT have uh, additional sources of income that will, could probably boost the amount of dividends that you can extract from your REITs. So what is all this dividend income about and where does it come from? So let's head down to section L and it says that this relates to the dividend distribution income received from wholly owned subsidiaries and joint ventures. So there you go. So when you, before you invest or perhaps you currently have a risk in your portfolio, you might want to just want to check whether your current REIT has additional dividend booster. So I hope this video has given you some insights on what to handle and what to look out for when you receive your next REITs financial report. This is Min An from the Valley Investing How To channel signing off. Stay tuned to the next video.